today we're going to be installing the Easy Tro Tray. There's a lot of customers we've had out there that's wanting to know how to do it. It's not that big of a deal to cut a hole in your boat, okay? But anyway, I'm going to start by showing you what's in the package of the Tro Tray. This is the way the package will come. It will come with the hose. It will come with the instructions. It will come with everything, the drain top, everything you need to install this in your boat. So we'll just open it just like we're, we'd be doing. Okay, of course, you've got your tray to start with. Then it comes with a hose, that's six foot of hose. This is for your drain, to drain the water out. Then this is your instruction template. This is what we'll be using today, and this gives us step-by-step -step instructions with pictures of it. Okay, so here's also your receive. These are the stainless steel screws to screw it down to your boat. These are Velcro tips that goes on the bottom of your trolling motor to stick it down, which they, one side of them already comes in your tray. So the only thing you have to do is put these on the rubbers, on your rubber feet on the bottom of the pedal and stick it straight down. It also comes with four stainless steel bolts. This is the one that screws down your pedal down into the tray. You don't have to use this, but it's entirely up to you. Uh, I, I like mine to be screwed to the boat. That way in rough water, you don't have to worry about it coming up. But the tray runs inside the tray just fine without having to screw it down. I run it for four years without mine being screwed down. So, I mean, it's, everybody's to their own, okay? And then, this is a piece that you will need to install on the tray and this is actually your drain for your water and it's as simple as putting up here and just take your hand and install it. Everything's all ready to go and then once you determine how long of a hose that you have to have to be able to get to the bottom to drain, all you have to do is stick this on there and I won't stick it this time until we get the uh, tray ready and I can show you. Now, and you'll notice when you open it, you'll have a flyer. And this has got, tells all about it. And then on the back of it, it has got three phone numbers here for you to be able to get in touch with someone if you have any problem whatsoever. Uh, and then we've actually put a flyer in here for another reason. This has got another order form in it. And I will assure you, once your buddies run this, they'll want one. So. Like I say, this is a little something extra we add throw in for you. Now, let's go over the tools that we're going to need for today. This is pretty much an easy installation. There's just a couple of things that we're going to need. Of course, we're going to need our template. We're going to need some string. It can be fishing string. It can be nylon line, whatever you've got handy. This is what we're going to use to find the true center of the boat. Okay. Then we're going to need some tape. Everybody's got some tape laying around. Don't have to have it. This is one thing that I like to use. It makes installing easier for me. You're going to need a flashlight. The flashlight is going to be used to look for the wiring and underneath your deck. Because a lot of boats have wiring running from one side to the other or up one side. But anyway, you're going to need a Phillips screwdriver bit. You're going to need a drill. It can be cordless or electric. And you're going to need a jigsaw. And then, I like to always pre-drill for all of my screws. So you'll need a selection of drill bits for that. And then you're going to need uh, to drill hose to plunge your bit through the deck of the boat. So you're going to need this. And then we've got plastic. Now this is entirely up to you whether you use plastic. We use plastic for the simple fact is it saves on cleanup time. Uh, I don't know about you all, but I fish a lot of times barefooted in the summer. And if you cut and get this fiberglass up inside your carpet in the summertime, nice 100 degree day, and you're walking around barefoot, you're going to end up some fiberglass that's embedded in your carpet. So entirely up to you whether you use the plastic, and then you're going to need a vacuum cleaner. And all this is doing is when you're making a mess, you're cleaning it up as you go. That way you don't have to worry about it. Okay, so now let's look up here at what we've got to take apart to be able to get to this installation. Okay, 
So, all right. What you we're working on today? I believe it's a '98 Blazer boat, which all your boats are pretty much the same. So, he's running a Minto Petroleum motor, and he's got it screwed to the deck. Okay, we've got a depth finder up here to remove, and then we've got the shield plate up here, the instrument panel that we will remove this just for the simple fact of being able to access underneath of this to check for more wiring because you talk about making a bad day if you start cutting without checking for wiring it's going to make it bad when you get start laying down on your belly trying to splice all these wires back together so what we're going to do is we're going to take all this off and then we're going to stretch a straight line from the back of the boat all the way to the front boat to show you how to get the straight line of the boat and also how to position everything from your center. This is actually your pet where your seat pedestal sets. So we're going to show you how to center off of this to center to the front of your boat. So I'm fixing to get a screwdriver and take this out and then I'll come back here in just a minute and show you what I've accomplished. <laughs> Alright, we're here at the point now. That of course you can see that I've removed the depth finder, I've removed the panel, so you know you've got your wires exposed. So now the first thing we need to do is check it to see if we got wires. Of course you don't have to have a mirror. This just makes it easier on me. And then if I see anything, then I'll climb up and climb down the compartment. I'm a big old boy, so it's hard for me to get up and down in there. So all we're doing here is we're looking at the bottom of the deck to see if we've got a wire going across. And we do. So now that tells me that I've got to get inside the boat and find out what I have to do to move this wire. Because from right here, we've got to come back. This is the center of the boat on the pedestal. We'll be coming from the center of this hole, we'll be coming forward 13 inches. And that is going to give us our center. So let me get up into the boat and I'll show you the wire I'm talking about. Okay, now we're inside the boat, and as you can see, right, right there is your pedestal that's coming through. And then if you look right here, that is the wire that I'm referring to. And then you can see all the way to the front of the boat up in here, what's actually in, under this deck. So now, what I've got to do is I've got to remove this screw here and this screw here and drop this wire down out of the way. It should be far enough forward that it's not going to interfere. If it would interfere, what I would do is I would cut this wire and I would splice it longer where I could move it back further where it would clear the tray. But from what I'm seeing here, it's more than out of the way, but this is more of a precaution. So let me get this wire moved and then I'll show you what I've done after I get it moved. Alright, now you can see that I've dropped this wire. I've got it down enough that I can actually take and get the uh, the saw blade to come by it. So, now that we've got this tucked here, we're ready to find the center line of the boat. And then we'll be ready to drill holes in and cut. So, we'll be back in just a minute as soon as we can find our saw and get everything hooked up. Alright. As you can see, the wiring going across, we've got that tucked here up now, so now we're ready for a center line, and that's where our strain comes in. So, actually, what I'm going to do is my customer did not bring his rear seat for his boat, so in my boat bin, I got a three-quarter inch boat to slide in here. That only thing that's going to do is allow me to tie the string onto it. So, now, what I'm going to do is that's giving me a true center to the back of the boat. So now, what I'm doing is this front pedestal hole, I'm centering in the center of that. That's giving me a true center of the boat. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a Sharpie. Come to the, I've got my center line there. 
I'm going to come up here in the front and mark the carpet. Now I'm marking the carpet where you cannot see this when the control panel's back on. And then I'm going to come up 13 inches from the center here. And I'm going to mark 13 inches up. Okay? 